Good morning. Today's topic is basics of oscillators. Oscillator is an electronic circuit that generates a periodic waveform on its output without any external signal source. It is used to convert DC to AC signals. In other words, oscillator can be mentioned by a it produces a continuous signal of some type without a need of any input. The oscillators are used in communication systems, digital systems and test equipments which makes use of oscillators. An oscillator is a circuit which also produces a repetitive signal from a DC voltage. The feedback oscillator produces a positive gives a positive feedback of the output to maintain the oscillation. The relaxation oscillator makes use of the RC timing circuit to generate a non-sinusoidal signal such as square wave, short tooth wave, etc. Here the, in, in this block, oscillator has a DC supply voltage and produces the output of sine wave, square wave, short tooth wave, triangular wave, etc. F feedback oscillators principles. The block diagram gives a two blocks when which one which is A and beta where A represents the amplifier stage and beta represents the feedback stage. When the switch at the amplifier input is open then there is no oscillations. Consider amplifier has an input voltage of Vi and the output of that amplifier is V0 is equal to A into Vi and the output of the feedback stage that is Vf is equal to beta into A into Vi where Vf is called as feedback voltage and A beta A is the loop gain. In order to maintain Vf is equal to Vi, beta A must be in a correct magnitude and phase. When the switch is closed and Vi is removed, the circuit will continue operating since the feedback voltage is sufficient to drive the amplifier and the feedback network resulting in proper input voltage to sustain the loop. Barkashian criterion An amplifier acts as an oscillator if and only if it satisfies the Barkashian criterion. An oscillator will operate at that frequency at which the total phase shift introduced as the signal proceeds from the input signal through the amplifier and the feedback network and back to the network input is 0 or 360 degree or integral multiples of 360 degree. That is the magnitude of the product of the open loop gain of the amplifier and the magnitude of the feedback factor is unity. That is the Barkashian criterion is modulus of A beta is equal to 1. So then what happens if modulus of A beta is greater than 1 or less than 1? Let us see. There are three cases. First case is modulus of A beta is less than 1. Then Removal of input signal will result in ceasing of oscillations as per the transfer function that is AF beta is equal to A by 1 plus A beta. Here the output oscillation will slowly reduce in amplitude and finally die out. Such oscillator is of no use to any practical applications. This waveform is shown here. Case 2 is if modulus of A beta is greater than 1, 1 volt signal appearing initially at the input terminal will after a trip around the loop reappears as a still larger voltage than that 1 volt. This larger voltage then reappears as a still larger voltage and so on building the oscillation with increase in its amplitude without limit. The waveform shows that initially the amplitude of the amplitude is very small and when the time increases amplitude also increases. Third condition is our Barkashian criterion modulus of A beta equal to 1 then AF is equal to infinity. The condition of, of unity loop gain modulus of A beta equal to 1 is called as Barkashian criterion. This condition implies that modulus of A beta is equal to 1 and phase of A beta is 0. 
that is positive feedback. In the above condition, no change occurs at the output of the oscillator and will get output oscillations with constant amplitude. That is, undamped oscillations will be produced. That is, uh, from uh, from this initial stage, from the time at the time period of zero to infinity, the amplitude of the oscillator is maintained constant. Thus, to obtain the sustained or undamped oscillations, the loop gain A beta of the positive feedback must be unity. Therefore, we can say that a positive feedback amplifier with unity gain act as an oscillator. Classifications of oscillators Based on the frequency generated, oscillators are classified into many types. AF oscillator that is audio frequency oscillators, RF oscillator, radio frequency oscillators, very high frequency oscillators, ultra high frequency oscillators. Here audio frequency oscillators will have a frequency from few hertz to 20 kilohertz and radio frequency will have the frequency range of 20 kilohertz to 30 megahertz and very high frequency oscillators in the range of 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz and ultra high frequency oscillators have or in the range of 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz in which microwaves are used uh, microwave oscillators are used above 3 gigahertz classifications based on the axillary oscillatory circuits in this there are two cases non resonant oscillators and resonant oscillators Non-resonant oscillators are nothing but the RC oscillators. Example for RC oscillators are phase shift oscillator and vein bridge oscillators. And in resonant oscillators are nothing but LC oscillators. For examples for LC oscillators are tuned collector, Hartley oscillator, Colpitts oscillator and crystal oscillator. Applications of oscillators. Phase shift oscillator and vein bridge oscillators are used to generate audio frequencies. Tuned collector, Hartley and Colpitts oscillators are used to produce radio frequencies. Crystal oscillators are used where high frequency stability is required. Advantages of oscillators Portable and cheap in cost Non-rotating device Frequency of oscillation may be conveniently varied. Voltage or current of any frequency that is tw between 20 Hz to 100 MHz adjustable over a wide range can be generated and high operating efficiency. Thank you.